Hey guys, in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to install some of the new mods we've been seeing on the Nexus for mods like True Directional Movement and Animated Armory as well as Elder Souls. The mod manager you will need for this tutorial will be Mod Organizer 2. If you need help installing Mod Organizer 2, I suggest looking around on YouTube for some other tutorials that can show you how to do that. I want to try to keep this video as short as I can. It's uh, going to be long enough as it is we have quite a few mods to install starting with make sure you have your Skyrim script extender installed as of this video I'm using 2.0.19 just download that to your desktop I already have it downloaded here on my desktop so we'll just go ahead and open this up and extract it to our desktop there we go and when you can close that down we're gonna take all these files here we're gonna exclude the text files. We don't need those. We just need the Steam Downloader, the Loader EXE, and the DLL file. And then we're going to copy, go to your Skyrim directory, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition, and then just drop it in here, which I already have it installed. But we're just going to copy and replace. There we go. Let's see. And we can close that down. We don't need it anymore. And then we're going to take this data folder and we're going to send it to a zip file. We're just going to call it SKSE64. And this is version 2.0.19 and then we're going to drag it over just select your downloads tab this is a fresh installation of mod organizer here so we're just going to drag it on over and then we can close that down we can just delete this and double click it hit manual where there's our scripts and then activate it and then our next mod is going to be the unofficial skyrim special edition patch just go to the file section download with manager we'll wait for that to install once the unofficial patch is installed we'll just go ahead and double click it hit manual and everything looks good here we'll go ahead, okay and then activate it and there we go we know it's installed go back to our downloads tab and then our next mod is going to be the address library for SKSE plugins just go to your files section download the latest version double click it hit manual activate it and then our next mod is going to be the animation motion revolution mod we'll go ahead and download that you can see it requires SKSE and re address library which we've already installed hit download and then we will double click it hit manual hit ok then activate it next mod is going to be sky ui which we need for the mcm menu so hit download with manager and double click it we're going to go ahead and untick that foam mod we don't need that and then go ahead and activate it all right so then our next mod is going to be nemesis which at the time of this video the latest version is 0.84 beta. I was having an issue with this version. I was getting this warning every time I would update the engine. So the best solution I have found is to download the previous version, which is 0.83C SE Beta. Go ahead and download that to your desktop, which I already have it here. Now the way this mod is packaged, it's already set up properly with the file paths. So we don't have to do anything other than just drag it over to our download section, double click it, and I like to have the version included with this title. So we're just gonna cut the rest of that out, hit manual. Everything looks good, hit OK, and then activate it. Hit this little drop down menu, hit this plus button, add empty. Make sure your new executable is selected. And then up here, we're gonna name it Nemesis. And then we're going to select the binary. It's going to depend on how you have your mod organizer set up, where your mods tab is located. But for me, I have my games drive where Skyrim is installed uh, under the Steam library. And then I just make a folder for modding apps. And then my mod organizer directory is inside here. So then I go to mods and you can see there's Nemesis that we just installed. And then go to Nemesis engine. There's the Nemesis.exe that we need. So select that hit open. We're going to use application icon. Hit OK. Alright, so now we have it in our drop down menu here. Our next mod that we're going to install is True Directional Movement. So just go to the Files tab, Download with Manager. And you can see we already have all the prerequisites installed for this. Hit Download. 
and then we'll double click it, hit manual, everything looks good here, so we'll hit OK, and then activate it. And so our next mod is going to be the Ultimate Dodge mod. You have to get this off of Google Drive, so just hit this download button and download it to your desktop. I'm going to cancel that because I've already downloaded it. So let's take a look at it here. Everything looks good. This is a faux mod installer, so what we're going to do is just drag it over, double click it. Now you only want to check this if you're using keyboard for your dodge. Uh, for me, I'm using a controller, so I'm not going to worry about this and just hit install. Okay, and then we're going to activate that. So now we're going to go to our next mod, which is going to be the ultimate dodge mod reanimated, which just adds a, a new animation to the dodge roll. So go to your files tab and download with manager. And don't worry about these Z edit patches. I don't actually use these. Uh, I know the mod author recommends it, but I haven't actually found a need to install these or to make the patch for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and download it and we'll go back to the mod, or mod organizer and double click it, hit manual, looks good, hit OK, activate it. So now the ultimate dodge mod reanimated is overriding the ultimate dodge mods ESP, which is perfectly fine. That's what we want. So now we'll go back to the downloads tab, get our next mod, which is going to be Sky Say. I think that's how they say it. And download with manager. You see this requires Nemesis and Dar dynamic animation replacer which we will download here in a second and then animation motion revolution which we've already downloaded so just go ahead and download that and double click that hit manual hit OK and then we'll check it uh, one thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention earlier was whenever I'm installing these mods that require you to run Nemesis, I like to put a tag in front of them. Simple tag that just says Nemesis. And I'll show you why here in a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and run Nemesis. And we'll just go ahead and run it. The very first thing you want to do here, don't even worry about checking any of these boxes. The very first thing you want to do is hit Update Engine. And this progress bar is going to go all the way to the end so we'll just let that run if you get a crash during this process don't worry about it uh, just start it back up and start the update engine over again all right so it's done now now we're gonna go ahead and exit this and look in our overwrite and we have these new files that have been generated and we're gonna create mod and we're gonna name it nemesis update engine and we're gonna put the date similar to like how you would do a uh, merge patch or a bash patch so we're gonna put the date on here 8 22 21 in case you're doing this for like you know several different profiles then you could even add the uh, the profile name next to it which is something I do so we'll hit OK and then we'll activate it now we're gonna run nemesis again now this time we're going to check all the mods that we are using so in this case we're using uh, true directional movements there you are and then we're using the ultimate dodge mod and then we're using sky say and that's it so now we're gonna hit launch nemesis behavior all right, so now it's complete. We can go ahead and close this down. And in our overwrite mod, we have all these new files that have been generated. So we're going to create mod and we're going to name it Nemesis Patch. And then put the date 8.22. And we'll go ahead and put the profile name at the end, just like that. Okay, activate it. All right, so moving on to our next mod, we're going to download Dynamic Animation Replacer. Just go to the file section, download with manager. These next mods that we're installing, they do not require a Nemesis, which is why we went ahead and downloaded those mods first. And we put our tags next to them because every, anytime we, you know, disable these or move stuff around, or download new stuff if it requires nemesis then you want to put it with these mods in this section and then you'll have to regenerate your nemesis patches in the same way we did before so anyway here's the download section and there's dynamic animation replacer hit ok activate go to our next mod animated armory go to the file section and since we're using sky say um, sky say disables directional power attacks so we're not going to need this fix now we'll go to our downloads 
notes tab, double click this animated armory and hit manual. Everything looks good, so we'll hit OK and then we'll activate it. And then our next mod is Skyrim Spear Mechanics. Go to the file section, hit download. You see we have all of our requirements and then double click it. Everything looks good, so hit OK, activate. And then our next mod is going to be Elder Souls. All right, so we'll hit download. Now you notice here this says that it requires Nemesis, but that's not true. It requires Skysay, which requires Nemesis. Just hit download. We'll go to our mod manager, double click it, and there's our meshes. Hit OK, hit activate. Now these are our idle animations. This new sneak animation, whether or not you use female or male character, you'll want to use one or the other. I mean, you could download them both, I guess, if you want. Just don't activate them both. There's no need. So we're just going to do the male. If you use a female character, download the female version, download with manager, then moving to the last one, which is going to be sprint file section, download with manager. Okay, so we can minimize that. All right, so there's our three anim uh, idle animations. So we'll go ahead and activate this one, walk and run, hit OK. This is sprint, hit OK. This is sneak, hit OK. There we go. We'll go ahead and activate all these. All right, so there's all of our mods installed, ready to go. There's one thing left we need to do. If you go into your Elder Souls collection mod, open up the meshes, go all the way into Dynamic Animation Replacer, and find the files that start with a 1, and you're going to want to hide these three files. And the reason is because um, these particular animations that are in these files, uh, I hate to say, but they're... They're pretty ugly. I'm not a fan of these animations. It's uh, run right, run left, run back, run forward. You know, they look very stiff. They're not natural looking at all in my opinion. I love everything about the weapon animations. I think they are the best weapon animations I've ever seen for Skyrim so far. These particular animations are very ugly. I recommend hiding those three files, the ones that start with a one, and you're good to go. Close it down, start the game. All right, so your first uh, boot up of the game, your MCM is going to register these new mods that we've installed. So it's gonna unequip all your equipment. Hit OK. Two new registered items. Even though it says that, I still like to open the MCM menu and then just close it. Give it a couple seconds and then open it back up. And there's our mods. So we're going to go to target lock and we're going to map this to our controller and then I'm gonna untick the target hostile actors that way we can target lock on our NPCs like that so let's go ahead and put some armor on so we don't look like a weirdo and then We'll equip our weapon. There's our new animation. And then we can try out uh, the dagger. And then we can try out the one-handed axe. Let's go over here so we don't hit that little kid. There we go. Yeah, looks awesome. So there we go, guys. That's how you get the uh, the all all the new animation mods set up in your game. I hope you found this video useful, and please consider subscribing to the channel. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one.